Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. Too. If you could, uh. easy, easy. That creature's hurting, but we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. Now for the other thing. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. with me, aren't you, brother? I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. <laughs> Learn anything? Go, 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 go
Why enslave the creature? Its fat was a good source of oil. For Odin's lanterns. Oil? For lanterns? Whatever anger you're feeling. Whatever loathing toward me. It's nothing to what I've said to myself. I know. Just the tail left now. Look out! Red snake! <laughs> <laughs> The nest was hiding some sort of device. That dock can lead us to the tail. Let's get back to the boat. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made. No.
I thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. You would still save this broken creature? I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. Chained as well. Why 
leading down that rope should take us where we need to go. Get me closer to its eye for a face to face, brother. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet. <clears throat> this creature, the mining rigs, they're mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. Great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Back to Thor and Odin's stories? Where were we? There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skadi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty. The Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, 
the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, room near the brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Durlin. You have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. Left alive, I have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the ace here. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. 
I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tyr! Durlan helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. I thought I was in. He's passing through.
This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. Hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Darling, he didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. True believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again... Whoa! Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if... Oh, no, no! Drekius were killed the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there! I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there.
back on the track. <laughs> wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Keep going. We're so close, just a little to the left. That's way too far. Mimir, tell him left. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two. Kraken <sighs> Hatchman gave you a stone. Kraken? Oh, uh, Diener. Yeah, it's covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. On your left! Oh! <laughs> 
Said it, little brother. Whetstone of the Night Ripper. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No longer of use. But enough about you. I'm talking about the Whetstone. This is incredible. So, bite the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Must lead into the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. Uh. 
Looks like the water powers the crane that's keeping the cargo up. Hey, looks like you stopped the water flow on that trough. That's it. Let's head across. There's a bracer to the left of the chest. Maybe you can light Good it? bet there's a couple more near here. Let's find them, yeah? <laughs> I might be able to get up there if you help me. <laughs> Great. I'll head across for a better look. Father, there's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Atreus. That was close. Try again. I hope you can make that jump. It's another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Aye. Might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get the wet stuff to do it for you? Tears here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? on your side. I will lift on mine. <laughs> Heavy. 
heavier than I thought. <clears throat> Thanks. Let's keep moving. Looks like we found Garland's mine entrance. Got something else for you. Sindri! What is it? Since you're currently lacking a light source, sorry, and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark, these will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait, what do you mean by untold horrors? Seeing this? That huge crane's moving this way. Stay there. Yes, sir.
What's the likelihood Tyr is imprisoned in this mine? Ah, Darlin might have been as well oiled as this crane, but I don't believe he'd lead us astray. You think the lad's too trusting? He is eager to prove himself. It clouds his judgment. Oh, I know you have more faith in him than that, brother. Another of Cavassier's poems. Find anything? We keep moving. <gasps> This is it. This is the mine. Intriguing. 